Over here in the UK, it has been hot. And when I tell you it's been hot, I mean um, the government has put out a weather warning for the heat wave that we're having. I've had a text saying to look after your animals. And um, that's what we're going to be doing today because I am actually, I'm actually quite concerned because here in the UK, we are not used to the heat. The animals are not used to the heat. I know a lot of you live in um, foreign countries where it's really hot, warm. You're used to that every other Tuesday. Your animals are used to it, but over here, it has been a sudden change with like your snap of your fingers. Um, so a few weeks ago, we were kind of like in spring and we had a really cold spring and a really wet spring and suddenly it has just become so hot. At the moment, it's kind of in the 30s in um, Celsius or the high 80s in Fahrenheit. And my horses are not used to that. And the horse that I'm really worried about is Mickey. Last year, there were exceptionally high temperatures here in the UK. Although most of the horses did all right, Mickey really suffered and became quite poorly. Hello. Hello, little ones. Oh. So Mickey here is an older gentleman, he's 24. I know to some horses 24 isn't very old, but Mickey does have a lot of different health complications and things that we really need to keep an eye on. So last year, he really struggled. There was one time where his temperature was up. We did everything that we could to cool him down. So we poured water on him, we got him in the shade, we tried to get liquids into him and luckily he was all right in the end but my worst nightmare is that happening to him again. As you can see he is his normal cheeky self. Hey, aren't you Mick? But um, the plan for today is to try and do some prevention to stop that happening. So it is supposed to get really, really hot when midday rolls around. So I'm deciding if I clip him or not, because he is very, he's, well, he's not very fluffy, but he could have a shorter coat and he does get really, really sweaty. Like he'll just be out in the field sweating, which we do not want to happen this year, do we mate? No. Hey. So before I really was umming and ahhing if I'm going to clip Mickey, but because he's literally just standing here, hasn't been running around or anything, and is already sweating, especially like around his ears or on his face, that's where he kind of gets the most sweaty, it's going to be clipping time. Also, if you want to know sort of like how to clip a horse, I'll leave some links in the description to below to an actual more in-depth tutorial on how to clip, but I'm going to be using clippers. They're very kindly provided by my sponsors, Lister Clipping, and I'm going to be clipping Mickey today. Normally, I use the like special cushing ones in the wind, so I don't take as much off, but today we're going full hog. Mickey is getting a full-on haircut, and I think it's going to make him feel a lot more comfortable once he's not as fluffy. Good boy, mister. I'm about halfway through. It always amazes me every time I clip how much fluff actually comes off of them. And this is like Mickey's summer coat as well. It really does look like it's been snowy, but I am so glad I've clipped him. I did not realize how much of this fluff was really on him. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, this horse does not look like a horse that could survive a heat wave, let alone survive having, you know, his dinner being delivered to him five minutes late. So, um, there we go. Sorry, Mickey, that was actually quite rude. Please <laughs> give me the side eye. Um, but anyway, I think he's looking a lot better or he'll definitely feel a lot better. Don't worry, there are some patches that I need to kind of tidy up. Don't, don't worry about the little stripes. I will tidy them up in a bit. I'm just kind of doing the big old clip. But he is looking a little bit like a sausage. I can't lie. He's kind of like an uncooked sausage. But it's all right, Mickey. You're gonna feel a lot better. Okay, time to do the other side before I insult this poor boy anymore. You're looking fabulous, Mickey. You're looking fabulous. All right, so I have just finished clipping Mickey. Now, um, I always find clips always look, not dodgy, but they don't look their best the first day you do them, so it will grow out and it will look a little bit more natural. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him a bath, give him a deep clean, and I think he'll feel a lot better after having a bit of a wash as well, because it is coming up to midday soon. I'm getting sweaty. I mean, I feel like I'm just got all of Mickey's hair kind of 
stuck to me, haven't I? Look at my hairy arms. But anyway, I'm gonna give him a wash off and I think he'll probably, oh, hello little Dukey. Duke is missing Mickey, so I'm gonna have to pick up the pace, but once he goes out, I definitely think he's gonna roll in the muddiest patch. Hey boy, good boy. Now what's quite funny, before I sweep up all of Mickey's floof, is that there are actually two little hoof prints where he's been standing, where obviously all the hair or his coat has just kind of fallen around it, so you can see his little toes where he's been. But anyway, time to sweep this off before I wash Mickey, because if not, all of the fluff will just get stuck to the bottom. It'll be like, I don't know, it'll just be really horrible. Michael, can you just move your bum a little bit? Come on. There you go. Are you ready for your roll and to get absolutely filthy? Yes? Absolutely filthy. I have just given him some treats, so he's in like lick mode at the moment. You just licked Duke on the nose. Duke, did you mind that? I mean, Duke's probably used to Mickey like licking him all the time. Yeah, hello. Hello, little one. Oh, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave because I'm just getting lick attacked. I'm getting lick attacked by both of you. Oh, Duke's licking us now. Have you, have you taught him how to lick? You taught him to be licky. As Duke is demonstrating here, he is having some water. Another really good thing to check, which sounds really basic and sounds something that you'd probably know already, but always check their water. I feel like this time of year, the algae can grow. Uh, Duke, you're literally in front of the camera. No, nobody wants to see your bottom. <laughs> okay, he's moved. Um, the algae can grow really quickly in their water. So I feel like maybe like every other day I clean out their water trough or clean out their water buckets because it can grow really fast. So making sure they have a lot of fresh water is really important. I Sometimes put apples in their water as well if they um, are one of those sort of horses that don't really drink very much as you can see Duke has slobbered all over my arm so he is a good drinker normally he is very good at making sure you have all the water that he needs um, while Duke's been drinking Mickey has gone on and put some natural sun cream as I call it which is basically he's gone and rolled in the absolute muddiest of patches oh here he is now Mickey come here no don't go to the camera he's gonna nudge the camera oh okay there he is um, I was gonna say he's absolutely filthy, but because he's not got much coat, the mud hasn't really actually stuck to him that much at all. When the UV is really strong, though, I will probably put fl a fly rug on him because you're in a bit of a pink pony, aren't you? Oh, just loads of dust went in my eye then. He's a bit of a pink pony, and we have to put sun cream on his nose to make sure it doesn't get burnt, so we're gonna have to make sure that his body doesn't get burnt either. But I thought I'd give him a little bit of naked up. No, Duke! Duke, no! <laughs> So before we got rudely interrupted by this little man here trying to chew the camera, I was saying that I decided to give Mickey a bit of naked time just for a little bit to dry off, but also because he just loves being naked. He loves a good roll. It's so important for horses to just be horses and he should be feeling a lot, lot better now. He's not got all that fluff on him. Hey, Duke. Anyway, while the horse, oh no, you've got to fly. Let me get that for you. Oh, look at that. I am ninja skills. I managed to get that off you before it even landed. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you then, Duke. That's the only thing that I don't mind destroying is flies. Flies are horrible. They are nasty, aren't they? You can get bitten. Anyway, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is actually go and check on the donkeys because they're pretty fluffy as well. Hey, check on them. Yes, you're still getting used to the YouTube life, aren't you, old man? Yeah. Yeah. You are so sweet. You are the sweetest little boy ever. Because you're tiny. You are tiny weeny. Tiny weeny little man. Tiny weeny little baby. Boop. No, that's my cap. We don't eat caps. No, 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 <laughs> no. I'm being attacked by a small pony. Good boy. Before I head over to the donkeys, I've kind of distracted myself because I've just realised it's now slop time. If you don't know what slop time is, it's like a little snack slash, I don't know, lunchtime meal that I give Mickey and Duke to get lots of water into them if they aren't drinking as much, especially Mickey. Mickey 
isn't as good as drinking as Duke is. So what I'm going to do, obviously I have to give them both so it's fair. I'll probably give some to Casper and Joey as well. Um, so I get a little grass Bix block. Oh, let's try and reach one from the bottom. There we go. Um, these are from my sponsors Silvermore very kindly. What I do is I just chuck them in a bucket. Now this is made of chopped grass because that's another thing that I have to be really careful of with the horses is laminitis. Actually two of my friends um, have had horses or know of people who have had horses that have had laminitis in the last couple of weeks which is really really awful. Um, it's not very nice. Mickey's had it once in the past but that's before he was diagnosed with Cushing so that was kind of because of the Cushing's but anyway it's when horses have too much fresh grass and too much sh sugar basically so this is um dried grass don't really know if mickey and duke need like a whole one each but you know what i'll be kind i'll give them a whole one each let me find another one oh. there we go they've got the um turmeric flavored one today and then i'll just put them in their buckets like so and then, so I'll just put that in the bin. I put a load of water in here for them. And then I kind of let this soak a little bit and just break off bits <laughs> like so and um, put it in the water. And then they kind of have this grassy slop, which is really good for them because it gets a lot of water in their system, but also they just absolutely love it. They will, um, this will last them like a good, good while like a good hour or so just breaking it up although sometimes you do have to let it soak for a little bit to get all the water in i mean this is sort of like a des this isn't what they're purposely designed for this is kind of like a little recipe <laughs> i've made up myself which is a little bit more on the interesting side oh there we go i've got the I can break it up quite easily now i feel like you get to the middle and then suddenly it just goes and you can break it a bit easier there we go so that is Mickey's slop dinner. He's gonna love that. I might have to use a different bucket for Duke because recently he's put a hole in his bucket, the naughty boy. So I'm gonna have to put that in a different one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at my hands. They are absolutely filthy. I'm gonna try and wash them off and then the boys are gonna enjoy they're good old slop. It sounds disgusting and it looks disgusting, but they seem to love it for some reason. All right, let's go. Mickey, the slop. Duke, come here. Little Dukey. All right, so um, for some reason, Mickey and Duke are such good friends that they're actually sharing out of one bucket for some reason. I mean, there's literally one here that Duke could have, but I guess they just want to be close. But another good thing about giving them slop is I can put this in the shade so if for some reason Mickey decides to be stupid and lie out in the sun or just stand out in the sun like he sometimes does um, I can bring them into the shade by tempting them with some food oh my gosh Duke you guys are little little disgusting ponies oh my goodness the noises that they make uh thank you very much Duke look at that it's all over my leg I was gonna I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. I was going to grab the mic and do some little horse eating ASMR, but I think I'm just going to get dirt all over my top. I'll do it for you guys. I'll get dirt on my top. All right, I've got my mic. Let's go. equestrian can relate to me saying you kind of get to a point at the barn or the yard of the stables where you just don't really try to stay clean anymore I feel like I've definitely reached that point today I've got slop all over my arms I've got Mickey's hair and dust from when I clipped him I've got slop on my new merch um, also this is my US only edition um, merch so if you're in the US and want to check it out I'll leave a little link in the description below but yeah it's 
There was one point where Duke's slop went down the back of my neck and that just felt disgusting. It just, I don't know, I feel like any water going down the back of your neck just feels really gross. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna let them, leave them to their slop, let them enjoy it, and now it's time to go over to the donkeys and sort them out. Good boys. Your skanky little nose on my leg. No, you're too gross. You're too gross. <laughs> you are disgusting. Oh my gosh, that's gone all in my hair, all down the back of my neck. I was just trying to post a picture of you on Instagram and oh no. I need to be hosed down before I get into the house later. Oh my gosh. Hey girly. So the donkey, ah, <laughs> tack the grooming brush. You little tack donkey, you my guard donkey, hey? So the donkeys have actually been really sensible and they're all actually in the shade. Now, although the donkeys, oh, Bruno's having a wee. Now, although the donkeys are older when it comes to age, they're actually not too bad in the heat because they are desert animals. This is kind of more what they're designed for, unlike Casper, who's designed to be on a cold, rainy hillside in Ireland. So um, the donkeys, I'm going to give a bit more of a groom. I've got a bit of a shedding blade here that I'm going to um, try and get more of their fluff out because it just takes a really long time. Like they're always the last to get their coat out. But after a bit of a groom, they should be feeling a lot better. Hey, I've literally been doing this every day and more and more just comes out. So I know a lot of you will probably want a Bruno update after he had his stroke. Um, he's doing a lot better. We have still had to pick him up a few times. There was one day where we did find him in a ditch, which probably wasn't the best, was it Bruno? But he seems all right now. Like he just came up to me, gave me a little headbutt and was like, girl, come and give me a groom. Why are you doing Toby when you could be doing me? I'm so much better, but he seems all right in himself. He's not too bad. He's doing all right. He's hanging in there, aren't you Bruno? Hey? So with the donkeys, I mean, I have literally known them my whole life, but they love being groomed so much. So much so that I don't actually have to put head collars on them or tie them up or anything like that. They literally will just stand here and be like, please groom me. Uh, Toby, please do not bite my bottom or the mic. Um, you got a little, got, they get a little bit jealous though. That's the only thing. They get jealous of each other. Oh my gosh, Toby, you have so much shavings in your coat. Have you had a little afternoon nap, a little afternoon snooze? Oh wow, this really is coming off now. Goodness gracious me, look at all of that. Look at all that fluff, oh my goodness. I feel like I've said that so many times while shedding them. I just cannot believe how much comes off because so much came off yesterday as well. It's Toby's like little bald spout. It's growing back nicely though. All right, so the donkeys are all groomed off. I'm gonna keep the shedding blade and things here just because I've been doing it every day and still look at all the fluff that comes off them. I'm actually, I know it probably looks a little bit gross, a little bit untidy or messy, but I'm gonna leave all the fluff here because a lot of the birds, they've been make, using their fluff for nests. Oh, thank you Bruno for the little head scratch there. Um, but anyway, really please keep an eye on all your horses, especially your old ones like Mickey that aren't the brightest and will probably stand in the sunniest spot and not go in the shade. Uh, hopefully this year we won't have to give Mickey any emergency care when it comes to the heat. We're gonna be keeping a really good eye on all of the equines, making sure that they have enough fluid, that they're in the shade, that they're not overheating, that we're putting water on them to cool them down. You're still so fluffy. Like, how is this not coming off you yet? I mean, you're not overheating like Mickey is. You're not all sweaty. Oh, you've got some, you've got a little burr in your fluff. Do you want a little cuddle? Yeah? Do you want a little cuddle? Oh, my favourite girly. My favourite girly. Mm -hmm. So it's now day four of the heat wave. I've just got Mickey in to give him a bit of a wash down because as you can see, he's getting pretty sweaty. He's been kind of having his like midday showers recently. It's been part of his new routine. So I'm gonna do that now and just get him feeling a little bit more comfortable. So 
Mickey is now all cooled down after his shower and is feeling a lot better. I also have a little treat to give him as well, which will help cool him down. But um, I've also, I'm going to leave some links in the description below to World Horse Welfare and also to the British Horse Society. There's some really good information and articles on how to keep your horses cool during the hotter months like it is right now. Um, some of the signs to look out for for heat stress is um, a raise in heart rate, a raise in temperature and also a raise in um, breathing or respiration rate. Also some horses can become a little bit irritable with heat stress um, and be a little bit more not themselves or a little bit more grouchy. Hey Mickey. Anyway, I have got a treat here for him. It's also really important to keep your horses hydrated as well because around a 500 kilogram horse drinks about up to or over 25 litres of water a day. So I've actually made Mickey a little ice pop, um, just some water. You can put a little bit of apple juice in there to make it a little bit more sweet, but um, you are on a very low sugar diet, so he's got carrots in there. You could also put apples, but again, carrots are a little bit more low sugar. What I might do actually um, is put this in a bowl and then he'll probably lick it to try and get the carrots. As you can see, Licky Mickey is in action. He is absolutely loving it. Should I get a bowl for you, mate? I think it's safe to say Mickey has definitely been enjoying his little horsey ice lolly here in his bucket in the shade. Oh, there was a horse fly. Gotta be careful of those in the summer as well. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh, what a good boy. Yeah, nice and cool. He is loving that ice lolly. He's literally just licking water as well. Probably doesn't even taste that nice, it's just water, but oh look at him.